here's another question. What yeah. are they going to do with all that stuff that's just floating around up there? The debris? Yeah. How about another task of a space force? Why don't you clean up yeah. space for so that we can have tourism and not risk our lives by a paint chip yeah. or, or you know, a going 18,000 or bolt uh, uh, or, or a nut moving at 18,000 miles an hour that'll put a hole straight through you. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, I would like to see the portfolio of a space force, if there is a space force, broadened the scope of that to include protecting us from asteroids and figuring out a way to clean up uh, the debris of space. Is there a concept in place? Or no. No? No. Boy, when you look at that map, and I know the map is not the scale, but the, it shows you the known satellites in space. Oh, well, there it's to, it's to scale in the sense that they're there. There's that many of There's them. There's that it's, many of them. It's dis, dis, at distorted. those relative distance yes. to the, but they have a lot. You can see their orbital line, mm -hmm. and so it feels crowded. But it's it's so crazy when you look at it. It's just like like it's just littered, and right. we're continuing to launch new things up there. And I joke. I say one of the reasons why we've never vis visited by aliens is because they came to Earth. And said, what is all that junk? What? Oh, crap. we're not risking our life. Let's go to another planet. Yeah, if they didn't know the map of where everything was and they had to calculate their incoming. Oh, forget it. They'll just take on. It's not worth it. Yeah, I mean, in, when you're on your way in, you have to think about it going around if in a circle. If you were visiting another planet that had a civilization and they left a lot of crap in their atmosphere, you you would yeah. There, well, those that's not the debris. That's those are the satellites. Yeah. So uh, if Plus. you oh no, no, that is debris. No, you got it. So. So the, the Air Force tracks debris, as does NASA. They both track debris. And sometimes launch windows of uh, spacecraft. Oh, pieces of shit that's floating around? Pieces of shit. Look at that. That's crazy. Are you scrolling through all that? As fast as I can. Oh, my <laughs> yeah. God. That is so nuts. Yeah. We're so it's crazy. Half, and we've down. only been doing this for 60 years. Yeah, so, so you, you track it. Right. When was the last, first satellite? First, first satellite was Sputnik. Excuse me. What year? But what, Excuse when me, was how that? To, uh, Sixty. You're too far away from me to slap you. Oh, sorry, yeah. sorry. What ah. was, it, was it? Sputnik, October fourth, nineteen fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. The wow. first artificial anything in orbit around the Earth, and on Is that, that day, there was still up there. There was only one thing. <laughs> one thing, only then. Only. Wow. From fifty-seven to two thousand eighteen. Right. So it's sixty years. Wow. Yeah. One thing. That's crazy. And now, how many things? Well, well, there's the, the countless debris. There's uh, hundreds of active satellites. There's thousands if you include the dead ones, and thousands of dead satellites. Yeah, so we have no way to clean it up. Uh, maybe it's some big vacuum one day. I don't know, but yeah, space vacuum. They'd have to be valuable. I, you know, valuable. you could probably sell space debris if you brought oh, it back yeah. to Earth. Yeah, people are dumb. They'd buy it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want some space debris in your house? Oh hell yeah.